In today's short introduction, we're going to look at the case linking capability in Insight 10.1. Now previously you used to be able to open up several cases within Insight and manually link the operations together. In 10.1 we've made this much more easy to do. So I've loaded my first model and I've created in this case a section plane through the model. Now I'm going to go to File Open and I'm going to keep the currently loaded data and there's a new option now that says link operations for all cases. Now this is going to assume that the uh, variable names are the same between the cases and that the part structure um, is the same between the cases. So there's no additional parts, no fewer parts, and that the structure of the parts are the same, i.e. Uh, the seventh part in the next model is the solid as well. So we're going to now load up another data set and this happens to be a different um, boundary condition case. Um, and you'll see that we do a few things automatically. We do the same operations that we had done in the first case and we've opened up into a new window. I'm going to change the name of this case to be 750 degrees and you can see that we also link the uh, visual transformations in here as well. Now the main key here is that we've also linked all the parts as well. So if I were to take this clip plane and move him forward or aft the clip plane also changes in the other models. If I were to create a new clip plane here, let's create another clip plane, I'm just going to do a right click clone. So I have another clip plane here and we we'll move that second clip plane down. We've also created a second clip plane in the second model and maintained his position relative to that first um, uh, created clip. So not only do we have the visual operations linked, we also have the creation and modification of parts linked here as well. Um, I'm going to do another clone here, so let's do clone and I'll move this, this one aft, this one up here in the middle. Um, now the same operations occur if I were to open up further cases. So I'm going to open up another data set here and this case, this time I'm going to load up into our third data set, 900 degrees and you can see that we've automatically offset the viewports, read this in, and created all the operations within that third case as well. So let's rename this case 900 degrees. Now we can also switch what is between the main viewport and these smaller viewports. If I were to click in the viewport here we have a toggle here which will allow me to go, if I double click, we'll go full viewport so I can look at just that case by itself or I can click and return it back to the um, layout that we had previously. I can also right click and here exchange with the largest viewport. So I'm going to right click in this viewport here and exchange with the largest viewport and we've swapped that 750 degree case is now in my main viewport and 600 is down here. Now it doesn't matter which uh, case we modify the parts in, you'll see that we automatically uh, keep all the parts linked in all the cases and any subsequent creation is also linked as well. So if I were to take this middle clip plane and do a right click and say let's create a clip in the Z direction, we have a 1D clip now that which is uh, replicated in the other cases. I can do a right click and say query and let's query the temperature along that 1D clip and we now have a graph through each of the three cases automatically. So I haven't had to duplicate that creation of the query and add it to the plot. We've actually created that query through all three cases here and we've now labeled the um, curves appropriately. So you can see we have 600 degree, um, 750 and 900 degree curves here for the temperature variation along that clip plane. And again everything remains linked if I move the clip plane uh, left or right, we can see that my curve remains updated uh, within this part here as well. Any new parts that I create for constants, let's say I want to create a uh, constant here on this plane was the average temperature on the clip plane. So that clip plane selected, I'm going to go to calculate and in this case I'm going to look for SPA mean and I'm going to create an average temperature here What we've actually created is three specific constants, the spatial mean and spatial mean in case two and case three. 
So we've created all three um, constants all at the same time. So this case linking uh, allows us to link the operations between the various cases so that we can maintain a relatively easy operation of comparing and contra contrasting different cases. Let's exchange this back with the largest viewport now. We'll look at the main one here. Now we can load up to currently four different cases together to operate in this mode. And the cases must currently be um, have the same part um, structure and the uh, same variables. We'll be uh, re um, relaxing those restrictions as our um, development of this case linking capability uh, improves and evolves. Uh, but right now this actually performs quite a useful operation within Insight to very quickly and easily compare multiple cases together here um, and have all the operations linked as well as just the view linked between the different cases. So again, uh, this new case linking capability allows us to link the operations between the cases. We can turn off the case linking if we want to now move through the model without case linking. Uh, but once we've turned it off, we can't turn it back on again. So best to go through and uh, do all your case comparisons with the case linking on. Uh, any further questions, please contact your local Insight representative.